Well, hello everyone, welcome to Playframe and also to Rolling Hills. Make sushi, make friends. Normally, this is the part of the video where I explain what the game is, but with that title, I honestly don't feel like I need to. It kind of says it all. It's a very cute little game and I've been wanting to see more of it. So let's just go, new game. But first, this is also very cute. A message from the developers. We are a studio of two brothers who got a lot of help along the way. It is a dream come true that you decided to play our game and we just wanted to take this moment to say thank you. From James and Matthew. That is adorable and very sweet. And congrats to them, because from what I've seen of this so far, it's adorable. This is SushiBot. Was I staring? Sorry. This is my first time away from home. I've never seen so many people before. I'm on my way to the vast, futuristic city known as Rolling Hills. Once I arrive, I'll become a world-renowned sushi chef, fulfilling my dreams and making my creators proud. I know moving out is scary for a lot of humans, but I'm a brave little bot. In fact, I was programmed with... What's that? I'm blocking the bathroom? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is my stop. I'll just squeeze by you. Goodbye forever! Here we are. Uh, ah, oh, this is Coggy. Howdy, little fella. Um, is this Rolling Hills? Am I here? Of course. You must be SushiBot. I'm the mayor of this town. Name's Coggy. You said it was a bustling metropolis. Actually, I said it would be a bustling metropolis. We just need a little help. I need to make a phone call. <laughs> Wait! Look, I know I might have fibbed a little bit when I was talking about Rolling Hills. The fact is, our town needs you more than you need us. You need a chef? More than a chef. Every great town needs a landmark. A reason to come from miles away just to experience it. You'll be that for our town. People will come from all over to have the world's best sushi. The fact that a robot's making it don't hurt either. Now come on, follow me. I'll show you to your restaurant. As you can see, I've cleaned up a place smack dab in the middle of town for you. It's, um, cozy. That's what the kids call it these days. Of course, we already have world-class facilities to help you along the way. There's the market next door where Armin sells fresh ingredients. You can use those to liven up your recipes. The cafe on the north side of the town run by my youngest, Maya. No better place to make friends than over a cup of joe. And last but not least, the workshop to the east where you can buy new furniture. My older daughter, Ren, runs that one. So how about it? Take a chance on Rolling Hills? Well, for sushi. For friends. For pity. <laughs> for sushi. Whatever gets you to stay. Now, how about you open that restaurant and show us how it's done? I'm mighty hungry from all this talking. SushiBot gained access to the restaurant. See, I told you it was cute. Tasks. You may have more than one active task. Press pause to open the main menu and navigate to tasks, then select the task to... Okay. And here we are. And aren't we cute? Check. There's a small plaque that reads, Rolling Hills, established 1865. I want to explore a bit, but we have been told to go open the restaurant. And I do want to see our new business. Here we are. Simple, but clean. Um, ooh. Current status, fully charged and ready. What would you like to do? Let us open the restaurant. Press A near a dish to grab it, then press A with a customer to serve it. So, this is a game about producing and serving sushi, running a little sushi restaurant in a little town. Making sushi, making friends. I told you it was pretty self-explanatory. Each customer has a desired flavor indicated by the color and icon and quality indicated by the number. Try to match or exceed these values to get the best reviews, which will help your restaurant gain popularity more quickly. Sorry, the text is a little small. Um, I wonder if I can fix that. Hang on, let me see if I can fix that. Oh, I can. You can scale up the UI. That's nice. Oh, great. I got to serve sushi. Here you go. Enjoy. And you want... Hang on. Your primary goal is to increase the restaurant's popularity by satisfying customers. Each time the restaurant reaches a new level, you may encounter new customers, quests, or progress the story of Rolling Hills. Fantastic, but first you wanted this. Here you go. Eat up. 
I'll just sit here and quietly stare as you enjoy your food. Thank you. Ah, when near trash, press and hold X to clean. Come on, man. Admittedly, I don't have a trash can around here. I guess I am the trash can around here. And I'd have preferred he throw the trash on the ground than at me, so I guess this worked out. What do y'all need? Um, okay, I have one of those. Maybe... Here you go. Maybe if I hit this again. Here we go. Enjoy. I hope everyone else wants Tamago, it looks like. Um, you do not. Okay, I better, um... I'm just going to assume those are getting put back into circulation somewhere and not just the trash. There you go. Oh, y'all brought your appetites. Don't mind me. Thank you. Tidy that up a little bit. All right. Huzzah. We did it. And look at all of these positive reviews coming in. Your adventure's just beginning. As your restaurant levels up, rolling hills will grow, and SushiBot will be able to buy ingredients, decorate with game-changing furniture, make new friends, and unlock special abilities to help serve even the most challenging customers. Hi there! It's nice to meet you. Likewise, and congratulations on opening your restaurant. I run the market just next door. I hope you'll swing by. You'll never take your recipes to the highest level without investing in great ingredients. We're adorable. And we can make a kappa roll now. SushiBot learned how to make a kappa roll. A veggie type, but also has like a bonus thing. Dainty. Troubled by messy customers, try serving this recipe, which instantly makes the table cleaner. Neat. A simple and refreshing sushi roll made with crisp cucumber, encased in perfectly seasoned sushi rice, and wrapped in dried seaweed. This is adorable. Many recipes have special effects that are activated during restaurant service. Press pause to open the main menu and navigate to recipes to learn more about them. Why don't we do that? Let's see, tasks, recipes. We got four, sashimi, onigiri, egg nigiri, and the kappa roll, our new one, which seems to be the only one with a little bonus effect. I wonder if there's any reason why you'd want to still use onigiri when you have kappa roll, which is also veggie and just also has an extra effect. Now, it might be that folks ask for things specifically down the road, or that as I get better at each of these recipes, they get new effects of their own. I don't know. Let's keep playing. It looks like our next objective is to visit the market. Hello. Do you want to be a friend? I never thought I'd be starstruck by a robot, but here I am. I know, I can relate. I also like this little robot. Look at the hat. I love it. Welcome, welcome. I'm still getting set up, but feel free to look around. Like I said earlier, ingredients can take a recipe to the next level, improving it in all sorts of different ways. I'll let you choose your first ingredient for free. Ooh, thank you. So let's see. We got fish. Gormahi. There's our one fish option. Also, we got bok joy. Cute. Hmm... What are the specific ingredients needed in this? Are there any? It doesn't specify. At least not yet. Well, I guess cucumber and sushi rice and dried seaweed in the description down below, I suppose. Um, I'll have some gourmahi. Gourmahi gives 10 experience uh, to any fish recipe. How about it? Sounds great. Improves fish recipes. Excellent. Nice doing business with you. 
Likewise, Gourmet, he's a great choice. Ingredients must be used on recipes to enjoy their benefits. Open the pause menu, navigate to the ingredients screen, and use your ingredient on a recipe. Give it a try. After purchasing an ingredient, press pause. Uh, right, okay. Uh, recipe. Level up the sashimi. Yes. Beautiful. Level two fish. If I may, let me explain a bit more about recipe levels. Ingredients give experience to a recipe. When a recipe gains enough XP, its level increases. Each recipe gains plus one quality at levels two and five. Raising a recipe's level also makes its special effects more potent. Now, why don't you open the restaurant so you can see your leveled up recipe in action? I'd love to do that. Great idea. I'm gonna go do that. Thank you. It's lovely out here. Are you waiting for sushi? Hang on, I'll open the restaurant. Fully charged and ready. Hang on. Is there anything I can do, or should do, rather, to customize... Oh, well, we can customize our hat. Very cute. And costumes. Honks. All sorts of good things. But no, I was uh, more thinking... Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's open the restaurant. Begin. Come get food, people! Look at this good fish. Who wants good fish? Um, not fish, but here you go. People, do you not see the good fish? Come on. Here. Enjoy. Consider the fish. It's level two. If a customer falls asleep, press Y to honk your horn and wake them. <laughs> if they stay asleep for too long, they'll lose track of time and have to leave the restaurant early. Oh, that's no good. Hey, wake up. This is a place for eating, not sleep. Do you want, do you want fish? You want, finally, someone wants fish. Here you are, enjoy. You can have this one. Good. Consume the sushi. Oh, yes. Here you go. Enjoy. Do you want something else? Fish. Excellent. Enjoy the fish. Thank you. You've been a delight. Anyone else? Come on. Get yourselves in here. What you need? Is it green? No? You have a this, and you have a this. Like, thus far, this is very simple as restaurant management goes, but I am fine with that. Like, maybe... Maybe this escalates to being more complicated and uh, <laughs> a little more to like manage and stay on top of, and maybe it doesn't, and I'm kind of fine in either case. Oops, not quite what I meant to do, but here you go. Fresh out of the sushi matic. I don't really know how sushi gets made, but this thing does, and that's what matters. See, look at it go. Oops, not that one. There we go. Enjoy. Sometimes just a cute little simple game like this that's not putting a lot of pressure on you. Kind of that stardew effect is just what the doctor ordered. Who wants fish? You! I knew I liked you. You have not asked for fish, but that's okay. No one's perfect. Enjoy. 
Oh, sorry, I didn't. I wasn't trying to hand that one to you. Okay, whatever. Here you go. Have some more fish. What are you guys saying no for? Was that last one not to your tastes? Well, that one's not for you. This one's for you. What are you guys complaining about? Hey! I didn't even serve- You can't bring outside food in here. Or drink. Or trash. Oh, was the place messy? Was the table dirty? Was that the problem? Listen, I'm working on it. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, that went pretty good. Oh, they were complaining about trash, I guess. In fairness, they brought it in. My compliments to the chef. Nothing beats a recipe with great ingredients. Remember to buy ingredients at the market to improve your dishes. Different ingredients work with different recipes and give different amounts of XP. Visit the market every day to see what's available. Who's running the restaurant here, sir? You're Ren, right? Your dad told me about you. Did you enjoy your meal? Yeah, the food was fine. It's the decor you need to worry about. Huh? The furniture you decorate your restaurant with can have a big consequence on your or can have big consequences on your customers. Stop by my workshop if you want to learn more. I do want to learn more. I'll go right now. I won't bring the knives. They probably won't be welcome. California roll. Customers will pay extra for this recipe. Fantastic. I love it when customers do that. It's like my favorite thing. Let's go learn about decor. Um, Ren, where's your place? This is not, well, or is it? Um, I'm going to help clean up a little bit. Oh, hey, this is my workshop. People donate unwanted or broken items and I turn them into worthwhile pieces. Some furniture is just for looks, but many can make your restaurant more profitable, popular, and comfortable. Normally, those special effects cost a pretty penny, but I'll let you have your first for free. Choose carefully. Thank you. I'm trying to... This game's reminding me of, like, several things. And I'm trying to just sort of think of all of them. Animal Crossing's definitely one. Stardew's kind of another. I feel like there's something else I'm forgetting, though, that's very similar to this. Well, a nice plant could liven things up. That monster is relaxing. Interested? Um, what's relaxing? I'm a robot and I don't know these things. Relaxing furniture makes customers wait longer for their orders. So, you want to buy a relaxing monstera? I'll think about it. Um, this seems like a good way to spoil one's appetite. I don't know how well gumball and sushi go together, but the gumball machine's profitable. Interested? Um, profitable furniture yields extra gold from each customer who visits your restaurant. Oh, so, you want to buy it? Maybe. I want to see what the TV does. That television's profitable. I see. Um... You know, I like the plant. Excellent. It dons the nickname of the Swiss cheese plant, an artistic marvel of nature that breathes life and character into any corner it graces. You got it. I'll have it sent to your storage. To place furniture in the restaurant, press pause, navigate to furniture, make your selection. Monstera is a solid choice. This probably goes without saying, but furniture must be placed in your restaurant in order to activate its effect. Well, why don't you head back and try placing the Monstera in your restaurant? I'm gonna do that right now. None dare stop me. This one sort of dares stop me. Do you need something? Do you talk to visitors often? I'm kind of fascinated right now. Um, thank you. I think. Where should our plant go? It's our one, it's our one decor. We really should 
Um, this corner's looking a little bare, maybe. You can rotate the furniture with the triggers or cancel placement by pressing B OK. Yeah, this will help a little bit. It's a start. There. Hmm, that'll work. See how much better it feels in here already? But don't just take my word for it. Open the restaurant, you'll see the difference. Great idea. Let's do this. Who needs fish? Or something that is not fish. Either is acceptable. Fish it is, here you go. Not fish for you. Enjoy. Have you noticed the plant? Are you feeling relaxed? Has the plant helped with your relaxation? On a scale from one to five, how relaxing have you felt? Sorry, I need to take another order. Green, coming up. Candy sushi coming up. I'm not really sure which this symbol means. I should check that um, in the menu next. I can check it now. Uh, recipes. Fish, veggie, or sweet. Oh. So it kind of is candy. In a way. Ah, you also want sweet. You both do. There you go. Enjoy. Nice and easy. I'll just get that sorted out right quick. Thank you. Come again. Would anyone else like some sushi? Can I interest you in blue or green? Ooh. Only the best for you. And only the worst for you. And my last one for you. Perfect. Y'all are great. Favorite customers over here. I have a lot of fish. Does anyone want fish? Did, hey, wake up. This is not a place for sleeping. And you... I don't even have that thing you want. I have... Here, hang on. You... You take this. You take this. And I'll see what I can do on the other front. But, um... I've only kind of got trash sweet sushi right now. My apologies. I'll try to step up my sweet sushi game. Thank you for understanding. It is still my first day. I think. Is that trash? Don't hide the trash, please. You throw that on the floor where I can see it. Or don't. Maybe take it outside. I should buy a trash can. Come on in. Who's hungry? Perfect. Here you go. I wonder what this effect means. Oh, right. It's the new dish. Y'all pay extra for that. Hooray. Love that. Coming up. There you go. Let me uh, clean up a little bit. There you go. Just a second. Let me hit shuffle. On my inventory. Come on. I'll have a word with the chef. Put in a request for some more veggies. Enjoy. Oh, I brought your appetites today, huh? Thank you. I'll sort that out. Have a good one. Thank you. Excellent. Pretty good overall. See what I mean? Well, let's recap. You can buy furniture at the workshop to increase customer patience, make more money, or gain more popularity. Just remember that furniture only affects customers when it's placed in the restaurant. Visit my workshop every day to see what's available. Who knows, maybe if we get to know each other a little better, I'll have more options for you. That'd be great also. 
Have we learned new things? We have! Fruit roll! Every time this recipe is made, there's a chance that its flavor will change to rainbow. Ooh. A taste for everyone, I guess. And also, pretty. I'm getting hungry. I'm not even a big sushi fan, and I'm getting hungry. I guess we should go get some more ingredients. I feel like. Hello. The simplicity of this town beautifully contrasts with the complexity of your sushi. Thank you. Finally, someone else says it. Hmm. More ingredients. Olisk. Gives 10 XP to any recipe? Okay. Do they all do this, or, uh... I wonder. Enchantrell gives 10 XP to any hearty recipe. That's a new one. I don't know any of those. And this one... Chewy or filling recipes. Goodness. This does have more nuance. I wonder if people will start requesting, maybe not necessarily like categories of sushi, but like more specific things. I want something chewy or something that's not chewy, please. Yes, Barry. More experience for sweets. This we do need. Thank you. We should upgrade our veggies as well, I think. Simple recipe. Hmm. Let's stick with the basics for now. There we go. Fantastic. So, like, hang on. My recipe's right now. I guess I could get more ingredients to upgrade more kinds of recipes, but... Maybe it would be better to save some of our money for furnishings. Might also be worth poking around other parts of town. Hello. Your sushi joint seems busier than any other place in town. Yeah, I don't have a lot of competition on that front, in fairness to them, but um, I think we're doing pretty good. What you got? Ooh, you got a table. Restaurants need those. Ooh, I want this. A sandwich board. I've always dreamed of having a sandwich board. It's charming. And affordable. Fantastic. This furniture earns experience whenever a customer enters the restaurant. Love that. Can't afford the rest of this, I bet. Super relaxing. How much was the table? Okay, yeah, I can't afford the rest of this. Thank you. What else is in this town? This garden looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. A feature for later. Ooh, a beach. I bet we could fish. Catch our own fish. We need some trash cans around town, clearly. Ooh. No one answers, but you hear the distant hum of a vacuum cleaner. Ooh. How much else of this town can I investigate? It's quite a lot of it. And it's very cute. Really loving these simple environments. Very charming. Hello. Hi. Life is all about the little details that add up to something extraordinary. The simplicity of this town, beautifully... Right, okay. Um, nothing to do here yet, I guess. The game will tell me when it is time. I've got sushi to make. And sandwich boards to place somewhere. You have two soda cans. Let's deposit them. Oh, even got a little money for it. Nice. Now. Decor. Sandwich board. It's perfect, and it will go... Um...
let's say here, for now. Try to fill some of this negative space a little bit. Eh, set it off to the side a little more. Perfect. Hooray. Oh, let's open the restaurant one more time. Wait, gotta upgrade recipes. Which veggie roll to improve? I guess this one, because it's got the fancy effect. Level it up. Yeah. Okay. I think that did that did take, but it's not updating on the little icon over here yet. <laughs> That's alright. Um fruit roll or egg nigiri. Not really sure if changing to rainbow is a yeah, I'm not sure if there's any downside to that. Well, let's go for it. Excellent. Let's take this food for a test drive. Welcome! I have so much fancy food. Look at how shiny it is. What do you want? Wrong answer. That's the one thing that's not out right now. Guys, come on. Are you... Okay. The customer is always... right, or at least that is what we tell them. Not to talk shop or anything, but... little fun fact. We're always lying anytime we say that to the customer. It's never true. The customer's never been right once in their lives. Have some fish. Enjoy. And veggies for you. Feeling hungry? Needing anything else? Alrighty. Here you go. And here you go. Eat up. Darn, I love this little robot. So cute. Come on, that's a lot of trash. What can I get you? I have many shiny options. Here a uh, you go. A one for you. And one for you. Y'all enjoy that good food. Hey. No sleeping. I'm not running a motel here. Here you go. And some fish for you. Let me uh, tidy that up for you. And get you some fish. That is not one of the available options, but I'll fix it. Here we go. Eat up. Yeah, I'm very curious to see how this sort of, like, scales up. This is very easy right now. But I could see you could, like, add more tables in here, more demanding or, like, picky specific customers. Lots of ways things could be, uh, amped up a bit. There you go. And a one for you. And for you, here you go. Thank you for your business. And more specifically, your money. How'd you manage to make that big of a mess? 
fish for you. Let me do a little bit of tidying here. Just one of the many services I provide as a sushi bot. Slash trash can. Thank you. And thank you for not just throwing a random can on the floor. Yep. Come on, man. You heard what I said. It's nice to see you, Maya. I've heard a lot about you from your father, Kagi. All good things, I hope. I wanted to stop by and tell you that it hasn't gone unnoticed how hard you're working. Thank you. It's easy to see that you're going to have a big impact on Rolling Hills. But don't forget to make time for socializing, too. If you get to know your neighbors better, they'll teach you new skills and even improve the town and shops. Not to mention having friends is just more fun, too. Stop by my cafe if you need any help making friends. I'd love to do that. I should wrap this episode up pretty soon, but... We can stop by a cafe. Come on. Now I even know where it is. This away. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Even for a hard worker like you, balance is very important. There's a time for making sushi, but there's also a time for making friends. Friends can help you in all sorts of ways, too, like teaching new skills and improving the town and shops. Let's start by getting to know your neighbors, Armon, Ren, and Kagi. All right, um... Do they come in here, or, um... The precision that sushi chefs put into their work is something to admire. So, um... So, uh, what, do, what do I do for the befriending? Do, do I go out to do that, or do I, um... I guess maybe I go out to do that. I thought we were going to be doing it in here. The shelf is loaded with books on topics ranging from recipes to electrical engineering and software development. I'm going to go look for friends. I don't think they're coming here. Which makes the cafe a somewhat less ideal place for making friends. For the time being, anyway. Hey! Someone! Ren? Are you at work? Perfect! You're no longer working. We're being friends now. Hey, Ren! How's it going? Same old, same old. Awesome! Did you come here for a reason? Yeah, but it kind of feels silly right now. So, what are you going to do then? Probably just leave. Seems like a good call. You're not sure how to talk to someone so intimidating. <laughs> Success! We have friended. Even if they are scary. Um. Not sure where everyone else lives. I'll just keep on knocking on random doors until I figure out where people I've met live. It's the only logical approach. Um. Hello? People I've met before? Are you here? Any of you? Suppose I can just follow the sparkles. That's probably the fastest. I guess I know where Armon is. Kagi, though, that one's a mystery. You! It is time for us to be friends now. Hey there! What's up, Sushi Bot? I'm trying to get to know some of my neighbors a bit better, and maybe even. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Sushi Bot. Can we pick this up later? I have to keep the line moving. Yeah, of course. See you later. Hmm, you're not sure how to befriend someone who's so popular. We're great at this. We don't know how to do any of it, and yet still we succeed. We're a natural. Was this entire town raised in a barn, or what? There you are. Hi. We are about to be friends. Prepare yourself. Hey, Coggy. Hey there, little fella. What can I do you for? I'm getting to know my neighbors. All right, then. Go ahead and ask me something. I'm an open book. Great. How about your hobbies? Whoa there, you're getting mighty personal. People from my generation ain't really used to sharing like that. Oh, okay. Sorry I asked. You're not sure how to befriend someone so private. I'm not really sure how to befriend anyone, actually. Now that I think about it. But I did give it a try. Am I, am I supposed to be doing something different or better? Making friends is tougher than I thought. Aw, I used to have trouble making friends too, but I found something that helps. Coffee. The cozy vibes, the energy boost, and the robust flavor seem to make the awkwardness melt away. Go on, try it. The first coffee date is on the house. Just let me know who you want to have coffee with and I'll call them up. Mmm. You know what? We've already struck out with everyone else today. And you seem nice. You seem like the perfect person to practice on. Me? Sure. Sit anywhere you like and I'll join you with the coffee. Perfect. Sushibot and Maya spent the morning together. I owe you twice, Sushibot. Once for inviting me and again for helping the cafe. Happy to assist. Oh, these goggles? They're from my days back in the lab. Though, now that I think about it, this is kind of my lab now. I love the science behind coffee and creating the perfect cup. It's nice that even my customers who don't care about how it was made can still tell the difference just from the taste. That's the beauty of art. Sushibot gets to know Maya after spending time together in the cafe. You grow closer to Maya. Double shot. You can now invite a friend to the cafe twice per day. Check the friends menu for more information. Excellent. Our friend skill improves. Congrats on making your first friend. You got the hang of it now. You can talk to Maya at the cafe and invite someone to coffee, uh, coffee to know, get to know them better. Goodness, reading is going away, apparently, as the episode goes on. After you've hung out with someone enough, you'll reach the next level of friendship with them. You can see the friendship bonuses you've earned in the main menu. Huzzah! In addition to learning more about their lives and whatnot, friendships offer a number of special upgrades and abilities. Spend time with friends by purchasing cafe experiences from Maya and consult the friends section in the main menu and such. Okay, cool. Well, welcome to my friends list. I am thou and thou art I and such. Bye! Well, this has been delightful. Extremely cute game, definitely recommend. It's on PC, I think it is also on Switch, which makes sense. <laughs> seems like a good Switch game. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for something else. Bye!